and welcome to welcome to our training today on building business credit in 2023 how to get this with no personal guarantee no credit check you how to get business credit without even having cash flow without even having collateral during today's training i'm literally going to map out every single thing you need to know to set yourself up for success with business credit in 2023. Now, there's a lot of benefits. So we're going to talk about these today, including the fact that business credit's a way for your business to fund itself, where you don't even need any other kind of financing. And if you are going to get other kind of financing and funding, well, then business credit gives you the ability to get more money at better terms. Pretty cool. So a lot of things we're going to dive in today. I'm going to decode the entire thing for you. Now, we are live on a bunch of different channels. And at the exact same time, we've also got multiple chats going on. So what I am going to do today is I am going to answer all questions at the end of the training, but I'll make sure I say hello to everybody as you're kind of coming in. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to create a self-funding business. And what I mean by self-funding is I'm going to give you the ability for your business to fund itself, where it doesn't need personal guarantees, where it doesn't need personal credit checks, where it doesn't need you to collateralize your home like is required oftentimes in, thing, in financing like SBA loan. How do you get the business and the fact that you just have a business uh, itself enough to actually get the money you need. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're also going to talk about using business credit to grow your business. I'm sure you want to grow faster than what you are growing now. And how can you tap into business credit to get tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands? You're even going to see case studies from clients that have secured a million dollars in business credit. So again, how can you get tap into this financial source to be able to get the money you need to grow faster than you are growing now and have the best year ever in 2023, regardless of economic client? climate. How can you improve your ability to get financing? Look, we all want to get loans. We all want to get credit lines, 250,000, 50,000, a million dollars. How do we do that? And how can we use business credit as an asset to improve our ability to get money? Look, it's not enough to get money. We need to get as much money as we can get at the best terms we can get. And today I'm going to decode all of that for you. I'm going to show you how to get the most amount of money at the best terms by using business credit and showing lenders and credit issuers what they really want to see. Okay. How do you save your hard earned money on monthly expenses and use business credit wisely to be able to better manage your cash flow, keep more money in the bank? use business credit for purchases, earn all kinds of points and rewards, and then oftentimes pay back that money before interest is ever accrued. <coughs> Excuse me. So how do you take your hard earned money and how do you reduce monthly expenses, earn points, earn rewards, and at the same time, better manage your cash flow, and keep more money in your bank account. All things that we're going to dive into today, as well as the most important, how do we separate consumer and commercial credit? How do we separate consumer and credit and commercial finances as well? Look, your business has a credit profile for a reason. So we can use that credit profile to get the money you need to grow your business. That's the same reason you have a consumer credit profile. We're going to talk about how to use these two assets to be able to secure even more money to be able to grow an even more successful business. Now, are you in the right place? Well, this webinar and training is for you. If you are sick of personally guaranteeing your business debts, right? If you don't want to continue to get money that requires you sign as a guarantor every time, if you want your business to stand on its own, if you want your business to have the ability to fund itself independent of you personally, well, then you're in the right place. I'm going to decode that formula for you today. If you want to separate business and consumer credit. If you want to be able to max out your consumer credit cards uh, or max out your business credit cards without adversely affecting your consumer credit scores or not have to have inquiries and people pulling your personal credit every time you try to get financing for the business. Well, these are all things we're going to map out for you today so you can truly separate business and personal credit. Use business credit to be able to fund the business. Use personal credit to be able to fund your personal life and not have this intersection where you're oftentimes now required to use personal credit to try to get the money you need to grow your business. We're also going to be diving in and showing you how to get the most in business finances. Look, it's one thing to get a credit card, a loan or a credit line. It's another thing to be able to get that at a really high approval amount and to be able to get that at the best terms. Okay, I remember once I've had multiple cases and two I can think of right off the top of my head where I got approved in one case with an American Express card 
And I told them, I said, I'm not interested. The, the limit's not high enough. They said, how high do you want the limit to be? I said, double, and they doubled it on the spot. How do you get that done? It's using business credit. I had the same thing happen with Bank of America with a credit line. They gave me a very high-end credit line. It was like 100 grand. And I said, I'm not even interested in that. I have higher credit lines to other sources. How much do you want? I went over 200. They gave me 200. How do you get these approvals 50% or even double of what you got initially. Well, in large part, it comes down to business credit quality. And I'm going to show you and decode the secret formula lenders or credit issuers are using to make these decisions. So we don't just go from denial to approval and getting you more approvals. But it also generally matters that we're getting you the most amount of money, the higher approval amounts. See, look, there's a difference between you going to a lender or credit issuer and saying, give me some money. And you go into a lender and credit issuer and them saying, how can we help give you money, right? There's a difference between pre-approved offers you're getting and when you're chasing them down. What we want to do is flip the script from what most entrepreneurs are used to. And you have lenders and credit issuers pursuing you. You are the exact persona of the avatar they want to give money to. And when this happens, you stop chasing them and they start chasing you. So how do we do that? That's exactly what we're going to decode today. Okay, we're also going to talk about ultimate success for 2023. Look, you see what's going on. It's a crazy world, right? With record high inflation, when we've got the economy clearly shifting, even the Fed is saying recession is the only thing that's pretty much going to change inflation, right? We have some of the biggest crypto exchanges failing. I mean, everything is a mess right now. And all of this creates an unpredictable landscape for running a business in 2023. And the one thing that can not guarantee your success, but go a long way to helping you become successful is having a lot of access to money. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to help you go from your planning of how to make next year the best year ever to being able to get you the funding to fund that plan. And that's what's going to happen by the end of the training. You're going to have the clear path forward on how to get the money you need to be able to make next year your best year ever. Now, if you're just coming in, tell me where you're coming in from. Give me a shout out. Tell me where you're coming in from. Tell me your business name and location, and I'll give you a shout out during the training. And also keep in mind for housekeeping reasons, I'll probably get to all of your questions at the end versus throughout this, because if we answer questions for the thousand plus people that will be here today, then it literally will take us five hours to make it through the training. So what I'm going to do is get you all the information, all the content, say hello to a lot of you like Brilliant Davis here uh, for Desert Business Builders Inc. in Tucson, Arizona, and John Walton in New Jersey's in the house as well. I'm going to give you a lot of shout outs during the training, but again, then at the end, I will stick around for as long as we need to stick around to answer questions. Speaking of the end, if you are staying to the end of this training, then you are going to get some pretty cool stuff worth about nearly 544 bucks, including three 30 days of free business credit monitoring with Experian, Dun & Bradstreet, and Equifax. So this is the only place on planet Earth you're going to be able to get free business credit reports. We're the only ones that do it. And the reason we do it is because we want to help business owners build business credit and we take a loss. We literally pay for reports and give them to prospective clients, to prospects, to clients at no cost. So you're able to get reports with all three major reporting agencies at no cost. We're going to do a finance assessment for you to tell you all the finance you can qualify for now. We're going to do a fundability assessment to help you figure out why you may be getting denied now and what to fix to be able to get more approvals and more money. All of that I'm going to talk about at the end of the training before the Q&A. So if you're sticking around even to the Q&A, you're going to get access to all of this before we are actually done today. Now, if you're wondering who is this guy that's talking right now? Well, here is who a little bit about me. I've been uh, in business credit and financing for over two decades. Look, I can tell you that when I was first talking about this on YouTube, there was nobody on YouTube. There were not companies on Google that you could find that offer solutions in this space. And I got into it because I had a business that failed. It was in the mortgage industry when that mortgage industry collapsed. I'm sure you remember those times. And I lost everything, personal and business. And then I found business credit and realized if I would have had business credit and separated personal and consumer credit, got away from personal liability, I could have actually went through unscathed from all the problems that I had on the, on the business side, on the personal side. But that's not what happened. I made the same mistake a lot of you are making is I guaranteed business debts. I had business debts reporting on my personal credit reports. And when it all went down, they literally took every dime out of my bank account. 
They literally saw my personal credit reports, ruining all my available credit. And I went from having a lot of money to navigate the crisis to none, just like that. And I'm going to show you how to avoid that. That's why I started talking about this so long ago and why I'm here today, how now helping 50,000 people through this process to give you the clear formula and process to actually succeed and do this. I've written some of the best selling books on personal and business credit. Um, I have been on podcasts, news stations. You can go to creditsuite.com and see Fox, ABC, NBC. We're contributors for Forbes, eight Forbes, Inc., Entrepreneur. We've been featured in all of those. So, and I also have the luxury and honor of overseeing the largest business credit partner division in the country. What I mean by that is we have thousands of people out in the world that are loan brokers and partners offering business credit and financing. And then what we do is we actually are the ones doing all the servicing behind the scenes. So most people you'll run into that will talk to you about business credit building they're out there telling you about it and selling it and then we're the one actually servicing those customers so i only tell you this because i want you to know that i'm not somebody that just did this for my business and now i'm on here acting like i'm a guru right we see those popping up every day um you're probably never going to talk to anybody else that's helped fifty thousand people through this process and that's the experience that i'm bringing to you today now a little bit about credit suite uh, the last three years we've been the fast one of the fastest growing companies per inc magazine a uh, most entre best entrepreneurial company in america per entrepreneur magazine helped like i said fifty thousand plus business owners through this and you can go to our website creditsuite.com and literally see hundreds of testimonials of reviews you'll see uh, actual real approvals more than you've probably ever seen for business credit building. And we as a company have also been featured on endless TV shows, podcast, radio, Fox, NBC, ABC, Inc., Entrepreneur. You get the idea. Uh, as a company and as an individual, we have a tremendous amount of credibility in doing what I'm teaching you do today. And I think it's important because there are so many overnight gurus I've seen come on to social channels like YouTube over the last three, four, five years in this space. And a lot of times they steal even stuff from us and they go out and try to repackage it and sell it without the knowledge and experience. So it's very important that you hear from somebody that actually really has done this, not a few times or hundreds or thousands, but literally tens of thousands of times, because it's that accumulation of knowledge that really gives you the fastest, easiest path to success. And that's what I'm going to map out for you today. Miller Beach in Gary, Indiana. Hey, my dad's name is Gary and I'm from Indiana. So we're like basically brother and sister here. Our brother and brother looks like Atlanta, Georgia is in the house as well. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Watching from Maryland, uh, Life Fishing uh, LLC. School Matters from Toledo, Ohio is in the house. Pennsylvania is in the house. A little bit of everybody in here for today. Um, we've got Magic Gobles LLC is in the house. DWH Unlimited Global Solutions in Windsor, Canada. I love Windsor, Canada. I could tell you stories about Windsor. Uh, Ron Raspberry, r, r Investment Enterprise LLC in Portland, Oregon. I could go on and on, but I don't want to continue to say hi to everybody. We'll be here two hours longer than we probably could be. So financing is more critical than ever. By the way, we'll give you a lot of shout outs here throughout the training today. And at the end, I'll give you a shout out and I'll also answer questions you have. Okay, so look, how important is what we're talking about today? Well, look, we're in a place of financial uncertainty, right? Record high inflation, looming recession, layoffs, uncertain job markets. There's a lot of uncertainty, unpredictability here. And that is not a friend of business ownership, right? So I don't know about you, but a lot of people like restaurant owners got caught up pretty bad in COVID. I was actually just listening to a podcast interview this morning, but this guy had five different businesses and all of them between them got cut 90% in revenue during COVID. And he said the thing is you can be as prepared as you can be prepared and you can be a great entrepreneur, but there's just things you can't see coming. And I'm like, hallelujah, I've been there. Right. I owned a mortgage company when the mortgage crisis occurred. And again, good entrepreneur built a successful seven figure business. And like that, what I did went away. 
And so there's all these unpredictable things that cause risk in a business. And these are reasons that we need to have access to actually a capital to mitigate these kind of uncertainties, right? You need to access financing to get a chance for survival, to thrive and to grow your business. Look, during COVID, we saw a lot of people pivot really wisely. One of my favorites was my favorite local cupcake shop that took their catering van and made it into a mobile cupcake delivery unit. It was one of the coolest things I'd seen. They basically took over ice cream trucks and they go around the neighborhood selling cupcakes out of them. I thought it was brilliant. They had a line, I mean, 10, 20 people, no matter where they went to stop. And you and I can both give examples. As a matter of fact, in the chat, type in an example of something you saw that was a really smart pivot during COVID. But what's interesting is that these people had the money they needed to be able to pivot. The businesses that were running on life support already with limited access to cash, they failed. They didn't make it. And I talked about that podcast I was listening to today. It's exactly what the guy said. He said, luckily, we had access to money to make the adjustments we needed to make. If we wouldn't have, it would have been over for us. And by the way, this is a guy that went from losing hundreds of thousands a month to now being a CEO of a two billion dollar organization. So it happens to all of us, right? But capital is what's needed to make it through and to also take advantage of opportunities and to grow as well. But the problem is financing is not always easy to get, right? You've probably been to your bank before and a lot of entrepreneurs think that the bank is the best place for them. I've had a long standing relationship with my bank. They will help me. But the truth is most banks will turn down small businesses and startup businesses, um, even if you were providing a guarantee, and especially if you're not willing to provide a guarantee. And in all fairness, it would be really easy for me to paint the picture of banks being bad, but they're federally insured. They're required by the government to be very conservative in their risk. And we saw this after the mortgage crisis. Dodd-Frank, this new law came out and required banks to tighten up. And we saw the issuing of credit decrease by upwards of 20% because banks were restricted. They didn't have the ability to be able to offer small business owners and startups the money they needed to actually survive. And as we look at today, conventional banks, SBA loans are fantastic. They're phenomenal ways to get money. If you're really well established, it's much harder to get if you're not personally very strong on the financial side or if your business hasn't been around years with tax returns and tons of collateral and all the things a lot of us just don't have. Right. So banks don't lend to riskier businesses and newer, less established, less collateralized businesses are not ones that fit in the category of what they typically prefer to lend to. And on top. On top of that, um, a lot of world changing our ideas are getting destroyed just because they can't get the money they need. Right. You can't go out and raise venture capital. You can't go out and get angel investing. You might not have that knowledge experience. You might not have an idea that's fundable that way. And at the same time, you really can solve problems if you have the capital that you need to succeed. As a matter of fact, when we look at why businesses fail, the number one and two reason tied to the fact that the business owner just doesn't have the money. They don't have the money to figure things out. They don't have the money to make mistakes. And as a result of that, they end up closing their doors and going out of business. And that's what's really interesting is that if most businesses just had the capitalization they need, the access to the money they need to execute their ideas, they could do it. But most business owners don't because they're not here. They don't know the information that you're about to realize. And as a result of that, that is what accounts for the vast majority of business failures. Now, this may be why lenders deny applications with high credit risks and low fundability. It is why, because again, they're not in the business of risking of of lending to riskier businesses so startups are not having access to cash flow or tax returns or financials like p l's and balance sheets that show lots of profit are not something that a lot of lenders like to see business owners with bad personal credit you're not going to have this happen where you're able to walk into a bank and get financing you're not able to go in there if you don't have collateral equal to what you're borrowing you might even be saying why why would I need to go to the bank and get money if I had all these assets that were worth the same amount of money that I'm trying to borrow? But it's what's required.
Okay, I actually just got back from speaking at a conference at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. I'm on a panel with two SBA lenders. And the SBA lenders even said what I already know and I've already talked about because I read SBA's guidelines, that they are required by SBA to take every asset the individual applying and the business itself has as collateral. The house, the stocks, the bonds, whatever asset you own and whatever assets the, the, your business owns, they're required to take all of this as collateral. But a lot of us, when we're launching businesses, we don't have that stuff. That's required for big banks and SBA to give it. Now, companies with no business credit bill, okay, even SBA says on their website that you need to have business credit established and remove any blemishes on your consumer and commercial credit. So SBA makes it clear, we do not want to lend to people that don't have business credit. We do not want to lend to people that have issues on their consumer or their commercial credit. And by the way, I'm about to show you how you probably have issues with your business credit, even if it's not built yet. It will shock you because you might not even realize that you can have horrible business credit scores when you have zero things reporting to the credit agencies. And that's one of the things we're going to look at today. And again, businesses that are still building their cash flow and they're in newer stages, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth year of business, a lot of these are not good fits at your bank. You're just fishing in the wrong pond. So what is the solution? Well, business credit's the solution. It's the only financial solution you can get regardless of cash flow, credit, or collateral. Hey, this is what I call the three C's. And they're deathly if you don't have one. Because banks are going to lend you money when you have good personal credit and business credit, when you have cash flow, especially verifiable on tax returns, and you have collateral equal to what you're borrowing. Now, the great news is, is in the fintech alternative lending world that we live in now, you only need one of those C's to get money from one of these fintech alternative lenders. But you still need one. If you don't have cash flow, if you don't have collateral, if you don't have credit, you're not going to get financing from a lender, from a private investor. They're not going to lend you money. You don't have lendable merits because again, you don't have one of the things that's needed for them to give you money. And you're not going to have get money from a bank unless you have all three of these. So that means everyone should build business credit because first of all, if you don't have it, it's a way for your business to fund itself. And if you do have it, well, then it helps you get more money at better terms. So let's see how we can actually you go in and make this work. What happens when you do this the right way? Well, this is an idea of just some of the approvals that you're able to get from BP here to $16,000 MasterCard to JCPenney, Sam's Club account for four or $3,000. Here we've got another approval from FedEx office, a five and a $10,000 approval, $20,000 approval here. Here's another approval for, let's say, $300 a week. Another for Sam's Club for ten thousand dollars. Another Mastercard for ten grand. Bank of America. You get the idea. The reality is, I have well over a hundred of these results on our website. I can do this all day long, but I want to show you what happens when you get business credit. We're combining auto financing. We're combining vendor credit. We're combining credit at retailers, like every kind of retail store, Visa, Mastercard. This is all in this business credit bucket that you're going to be able to get as soon as we are done with this training. And when you put it all together, a lot to read here. So I'm not going to read it. I'll give you a chance to take a screenshot and read it. But as you can see here, this is Christine Farrell. Now, she had actually been in the trucking industry for 20 years. And per her quote, we decided to start our business because to start our own business because of the freedom. We don't have to worry about the clock in and out. We're financially free. Right. How many of us get into business for that reason? Right. But again, the problem is if we carry on with what Christine is saying, well, two years ago, when we found credit, we, we were almost ready to shut it down and say enough is enough. We can't do it anymore. Right. And how many have been there where the struggle is so real and the financial being financially strapped is so stressful that we're just done. We just can't do it anymore. Right. Well, Christine was in one of these places. OK. And then as she continues, we've got into fuel cards, the credit suite. We got some cash credit cards of them. We also got lines of credit for housing equipment and things that we needed, totaling over eight hundred thousand dollars in credit. So we got quite a bit. Now, I can continue on with this. But again, 
uh, as Christine says, now we have the ability to expand because Credit Suite was able to help us get the credit we needed for the company. We're able to hire more drivers. We're able to pay the bills when it's more comfortable to us instead right away. And it just gives us more flexibility. Plus, it gives our company a better rating. And we've got more customers because of that better rating. So it's kind of a win-win situation. The better credit, the better customer base. Look, our credit profiles are publicly available. So as Christine's saying, she goes, I didn't even think this was going to happen. But what happened was not only did we get 800,000, which by the way, she's now secured well over a million. Okay. But on top of that, she also is getting more customers because she's more credible for those people looking at her business credit reports. When we got with Christine, she had a one truck operation. Last time I talked to her, she was looking to buy a 50 truck operation and I could pull up a list of her approvals. Sometimes I do, but one of which is one of my favorite, it's $185,000 in financing at Ford without a personal guarantee, without a personal credit check. So it's starting to give you an idea of the power of what business credit can actually do do for you and your business. And we got Jaden in here from Washington State. We've got Mike from St. Louis is in the house as well. We've got uh, who? Ken, Kenan here from California, Arizona, D.C., Sacramento, California, Pennsylvania, Plymouth, Massachusetts in real estate, Atlanta, Georgia, Dreamcatchers, Child Care, Miller Beach. Uh, we talked about you, Gary, Indiana, Joseph Rollin, Harrisburg's in the house. Thank you all for coming in and saying hello. So we talked a lot about what business credit can do. Let's talk about why it's awesome for you, some things you might not know. First of all, it's the most flexible business financing option available. What I mean by that is it's fast to get, it's easy to get when you understand the formula, and the other nice thing about it is, is you don't need the cash flow, the credit, the collateral, the other types of things that you need. Plus, it's flexible because it's revolving. It can be used and reused, right? You get it, you use it, you pay it down, you reuse it. So there's a lot of flexibility. I'm going to read forward into the camera here. Just turn down my AC just a little bit. Okay, so it's one of the most flexible types of financing you're going to find. You can get no personal guarantee with a lot of accounts. And even accounts that require a guarantee, you can now strategically decide whether you want to give guarantees or not. Look, raise your hand if you love the idea of being personally liable for debt in your business. I'm not raising mine. I don't think you are either. We don't want to. We, we want to have a business that can stand on its own where it doesn't require personal guarantees. So many people come to me and say, how do I get money without a personal guarantee? My answer is the same. In order to do that, your business has to be able to stand on its own, period. If your business can't stand on its own, you're not going to get away from guarantees. If you look at things like the actual definitions in the dictionary that are related to the financial terms, you'll see that personal guarantees are needed when the business can't stand on its own. But as we build a credit profile for the business, then we get away from guarantees because the business can stand on its own. Look, you and I know this is the way it works. We know people like Michael Dell isn't out there signing as a guarantor for Dell's $250 million credit lines. It's absurd. But why can Michael Dell do it? Now, a lot of people think that Dell is Dell. Well, Dell is Dell. Dell is Dell. Dell is Dell because if you look at their credit report, they literally have hundreds of accounts on there that they paid as agreed. They built a credit profile for Dell that showed they could pay back 10 grand and 100 grand and a million bucks. And as that credit profile gets deeper with more accounts reported and more money that's being borrowed, then what happens is Michael Dell becomes less important and the business is stronger financially than the individual CEO that started. Now, what most people don't know, and I'm going to show you real examples of this, is startups can do exactly the same thing following the exact same formula. The problem is you probably don't have a CFO. You probably don't have a financial controller. And these are the financial savvy people that usually do it for bigger organizations. But smaller business owners don't have those people so we have to like get the information from like me to be able to learn how to do it. But the good news is we can still follow the same steps the big companies have followed. We can get this with no income or assets required. We don't need collateral. We don't need to have assets in the business or individual assets. We don't need to have business income. We don't need to, it's no doc. There's no verification. It's unsecured, which means it's not secured by collateral. It's one of the reasons it's more flexible. It's easier to get, right? And per SBA, the limits on business credit cards are 10 to 100 times higher than consumer credit cards. Look, it's very common for our clients to get $10,000 credit card approvals in 60 to 90 days. Think about that. 
Imagine if you had no credit profile uh, as a consumer and, and imagine being able to go build credit for two to three months and get $10,000 limits. Now, you can't do that because on the consumer side, FICO won't even give you a score unless you've got credit reporting initially for six months. A lot of us don't remember that because it's been a while ago since we built our consumer credit reports. But consumer credit requires many years of well-disciplined borrowing for us ever to be able to get high limits, but really high limits. In the business credit world, our clients are getting forty, fifty thousand dollar limits six months into the process. Christine, less than nine months into the process, was getting three hundred thousand dollar limits. One of the favorite posts I've ever seen in our Facebook community. Oh, I messed up. I said my approval was for one hundred and fifty grand. It was actually for a three hundred thousand dollar limit, and she actually posts the real approval for the three hundred thousand dollars. So three hundred thousand dollar limits. Now, most of the time, we see thirty to fifty thousand dollar limits be common at the higher end. So imagine having a Chase credit card, or imagine having a a, a, a Amazon credit card, or a Sam's Club credit card with thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar limits. Here's what's interesting about business credit is that 85% of what a business owner needs to buy, they can use business credit to buy, right? Look at where I am now. I'm sitting using a standing desk. I've got multiple monitors here. I've got my cameras that I know and love. I've got my uh, my ring light right here. I've got my uh, my phone right here, my iPhone. Everything here, I've got my Dell computer. 100% of everything here including my microphone, my pop filter, 100% of this can be bought using business credit. Most of what you need to run a business can be. Now, there's some stuff like payroll you're not going to be able to use business credit for, but most of the other stuff you need, especially to get businesses launched and successful, you can able to use business credit. And business credit is what maximizes your borrowing ability because it gives you the ability to get money from the banking system, get more money at better terms. But here's a question. Can you get it? Right. You might be thinking, well, this all sounds good, but can it actually work for me? Well, you can get it even if you're a startup. You can get it even if you're a nonprofit. You can get it if, no matter what type of entity that you've chosen. You can get it as a high risk industry. OK, now you should avoid being a sole proprietor just because a sole proprietor, you are the business. So I'm not an attorney and this isn't legal advice, but if you are the business and the, you get sued, the business gets sued, guess who else gets sued, right? I mean, you're the business. So you can't get away from liability unless you and the business are separate and a sole proprietor is not separate. So you should separate it. You could build business credit for a sole prop, but you should separate it just to get away from liability. But no matter what, what your entity type is, though, you don't have to verify cash flow. You can get it as a startup, you can get it as a nonprofit, you can get it as a high risk industry. All these things that make it harder and possible for us to get the kind of financing aren't applicable in the business credit world. We're still able to come in and get business credit and you can really get it as a startup or when you need to grow and expand. So you can also get access to what you need to grow, right? Business credit cards. We can get company vehicles. We can get office equipment and supplies, retail inventory, construction materials, fleet and fuel cards, marketing assets. We literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sources in our business finance suite for just about everything. If you're a flooring company, well, then you can go out and get all the supplies you need on business credit, like all the materials, everything you need. You need labor? Well, then you can go get labor from labor ready. Oh, what, you're a truck driver? Oh, well, then you can get fuel cards to repair, maintain, and fuel your vehicles. Oh, you're in, you're in credit repair? No problem. Well, all the computers that you need, the desks that you need, everything you need. Oh, you need paper to do that? You need fax machines and printers? Well, all of that you can use getting business credit. Okay, maybe you're a, a beautician, right? Well, you've got to get all the beauty supplies. Well, they offer business credit for that too. Okay, imagine going to your biggest supplier of, of beauty products that you put in your stores and then give you a credit line of $100,000 to buy those products. Okay, if you have a whole wall of products, how much more will you sell? How much revenue is that? Those are some of the highest profit margin products that are there and you can use business credit to buy all of that. So the reason I say this is that no matter what industry you're in, 
you're able to use business credit to buy the majority of what you need to buy to be able to actually succeed in that industry. And a lot of it you're able to get without personal liability, without guarantees, letting your business actually fund itself. Now, using business credit also protects your personal credit, right? Because if we think about it, we're getting credit the business name only. So let me give you a simple example. In my phone here is my wallet. Never steal my phone because, look, secretly it's my wallet as well. And right there is my primary business credit card, A Advantage. And there's a reason Capital One Spark Card is not there. Capital One Spark Card I have and I never use. Matter of fact, Capital One said, we are going to reduce your credit limit because you don't use the card. And I called him and said, stop reporting my business credit card on my personal credit report and maybe I'll use your card, right? So if we look at a Capital One Spark card, the reason I don't use it is because if I use it, it damages my personal credit scores. 30% of consumer credit is based on utilization, which means what percentage of that credit limit I'm using. So what happens is if I use Capital One and I put a balance on there, it lowers my personal credit scores. Now my ability to get a mortgage, to get a car loan, to get a credit card is basically reduced because I'm used trying to just grow my business, but my business credit card reports on my consumer credit report. Now let's say we go to here to my American Airlines card, my, my Advantage American Airlines card, right? Now with this credit card, it reports on my business credit reports. So when I buy all the stuff that I buy using the credit card, including all my travel, right? I travel a lot. I was just in the last three weeks. I was in Arizona for a week. I was speaking in Arizona. I was speaking in Las Vegas. I was in New York City. So when I'm buying the hotels and when I'm buying the actual airfare, well, I'm using that credit card, but it doesn't hurt my consumer credit because it doesn't report there. So what we've got to do is get these credit cards that's in the business name. It helps protect our consumer credit. It also gets us away from that liability and guarantee. And we also have business expenses that no longer report on our consumer credit report because we're not using credit cards that have to fund our business that are reporting on our consumer credit reports. And derogatory marks do not impact your personal credit. If you ever do go late, if you ever are a day late, well, then you're not adversely affecting your consumer credit reports. See, the business world, they can go against you if you're even a day late, but that's not going to help our consumer, not going to hurt our consumer credit reports because none of that debt actually reports there as well. Now, business credit impacts your ability to get loans. It determines if you'll get approved or denied, how much money you're going to get approved for, the terms you're going to pay, and you can be denied financing based on business credit quality, even if you have no business credit established. I love these conversations. Love, 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 love them. Where somebody will come to me and go, business credits, this is my thing today. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing a lot of this today. So if somebody comes to me and say, well, business credit isn't important to getting money for a business. I can get a loan without it. I can get a credit card without it. Think about this, for example. DMB is the largest and, un, and oldest existing credit reporting agency ever, right? They're the largest in the consumer side, commercial side. They were around a decade plus before consumer credit even existed. They have 230 million uh, records on file and their entire job. Well, their real job is to collect and sell data. But what they do is they design algorithms that tell somebody your risk of defaulting on credit. Now, let me ask you something. If you were going to loan money to somebody or give somebody credit and for $2 or $1, you could go to the biggest company in the world that specializes in credit and risk assessment, and they're going to tell you the likelihood that the person you're going to give money to is going to pay you back. Hmm, I don't know. Would you spend the dollar or not spend the dollar to make that assessment before you give them 50 grand? Right. It's common sense. Business credit reporting agencies are used by lenders, by credit issuers, by suppliers, because it's so cheap for them to find data about you to decide if they want to give you money or not. How much money? What kind of terms you should pay? So it's used in most finance assessments. It's used by SBA. It's used by banks. As a matter of fact, SBA requires anybody who is issuing an SBA loan to have a FICO small business score of 140 or higher. It's almost impossible to have that score if you don't have business credit established. I have a stack of denials from cash flow, cash advance lenders that deny people because of business credit quality. I got a stack of denials from equipment lenders that deny people because of business credit quality. It doesn't matter if you're getting equipment or a bank loan or anything in between, they're looking at your business credit quality. 
And it's what's going to determine if you get approved, how much you get in the rates and terms you want to get. So again, we want to be able to build business credit to get the most amount of money at the best terms. And here's the scary part. I mentioned this earlier. We will get a failing business credit score with no credit. So here's a look at the Experian credit profile. It's all zeros here, zero, 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 zero. There's nothing there, but we still see the A6 financial stability risk score. Financial stability risk score literally depicts your, your risk of going bankrupt, shutting your doors, ceasing operations. You're done. You're gone. It's over. That's what this depicts. Think about this. How insane is this? 100 is the highest score. Zero is the worst. Experian will give you a six. I mean, that's about a higher risk as you can get of defaulting, of closing your doors but when you have no credit. The minute they know you exist, know your name, your address, and your SIC, your NEICS code, the industry code you're in. If they know those three points, this is what they create. They create a credit profile with no credit. They give you these kind of scores. I can tell what's on somebody's business credit score report just by seeing this. Back in the old days when we used to use, what was it? Somebody, what? Twitter's um, original, I can't even think about it, again with a P. When I first started doing live streaming, it was before YouTube and for Fa oh, Periscope. So Periscope, back in the day when I used to use Periscope, I would literally pull people's credit reports live and I would look at this box and then I would do it live and I would say, I'm going to tell you what's on your business credit reports just based on this box. And whenever I would see this, these low scores and low recommendation of credit, I would know somebody had a credit profile that was empty. So again, you're going to have failing scores even if you have no credit. Look at how high of a risk you are. This is low risk, this is high, and this is lack of access to trades. Now here's the crazy part. You might not even know this. You're trying to get a loan, you're trying to get a credit card, you're trying to get a credit line, you get denied and you don't know why. You go to get cash advance financing and they charge you 30% and you don't know why. Here's why. You go to get a credit line and your credit line gets pulled back and now they want you to pay it all back in 30 days. You don't know why. Here's why. Because not only do they see this, they get notifications when these things change and they will even pull credit that you've one time been already times been issued. We have those people show up at our door all the time needing help. Now, here's the great news. If you have even one account on this credit report, and I'll tell you what this one is later and show you how to get it. Then you go from a low a high risk to low risk. Now, look at this. We literally moved the score from high risk to low risk. And if we look back to where we were, the biggest risk factor on why our scores were high risk were lack of active trades. We don't have accounts reporting. Now we added one account and now our risk has changed to average age of trades. So now we're no longer, we added one account. Now our risk is no longer the high risk because we don't have enough trades. Now that one account is just not old enough but we're still a 96. And here, this shows you that we were a 28 and now we're up into the 90s. So one account took us from high risk to low risk, bam, bam, one account. It's not, it, it, we gotta do this. Like we don't even have a choice. If we want money to grow, we have to build business credit. Here's what's even crazier. I found the hack that I'm gonna teach you right now. I'm gonna let you in on it. It's one of the best kept secrets of business credit building. It's what's gonna lay out your path for mass funding, max funding in 2023. Here's the hack that they won't tell you. They is the banks, the credit bureaus, the lenders, the credit issuers. They won't tell you this, and I'm going to tell you. We have found, helping 50,000 business owners through this process, a hack that the more accounts you add to business credit reports, the higher the recommendation of credit from the credit bureaus. Let me go back for a second. See this box? This is the most important box a lender looks at. It's why Experian puts three points of data in one spot. One, your main credit score. Experian, it's called IntelliScore. It's different for DMB. It's different for Equifax. That financial stability score, are you going to fail? Or are you going out of business or not? And how much money should you be given? These are the three data points we want to control. This credit limit recommendation controls how much we get. Intelliscore controls our rate. The main credit score controls our rate. And this decides whether we get denied or not. Like if we're a high risk of shutting our doors, denied. Okay, this is mediocre risk. So now we're looking towards an approval. But what kind of rate are we going to pay? High or low? Credit score is really high, low rate. Now, how much money are we going to be lent? A little or a lot? 
credit limit recommendation determines that. These are the three things we need to control. They're the most important. Now, here's the hack. Well, look at this account. Remember this first account that we look at here and we looked at this and we realized that, again, that was probably a bad example here because I don't have all the data that I need. But again, what we found here, and this is really a bad example, is that the more of these accounts that we add, the higher the recommendation of credit goes. So and I have a normal slide deck, which I don't actually have that here, but I would show you that we actually have credit clients that have $725,000 recommendation of credit. And what they did to add it on there was they had 15 accounts on the business credit reports. So what I'm saying to you is we want to pay bills as agreed. It's what gives us higher scores. Higher scores give us lower rates. We need to establish business credit. If we don't have it, we're very high risk of shutting our doors. That gets us denied. And if we want the most amount of money, then we add accounts to the business credit reports. The more accounts we add to the business credit reports, the higher the recommendation of credit actually becomes. It's why building business credit is so important, because the more accounts we get, the higher the recommendation of credit becomes, the more money that we're actually able to get approved for. Now, business credit also grows with you, right? It grows the more that you use it. The more you use it, the higher the limits, the higher the lines. We get access to better types of financing. It increases the value of the company. Look, as CEO of an eight-figure business, my job is to make sure that I control the enterprise value of the entity. I am here to make Credit Suite worth more money. And one of the things that makes it worth more money is business credit, because having a strong business credit profile is what makes our business more appealing to potential investors, to potential acquirers, because they see we have large amounts of credit and we're paying our bills responsibly. It increases the value of the company. It's a transferable asset. If you sell the business, the credit comes with the business. If you have two businesses to buy, one has a half a million dollars in available credit, the other has zero. If the, all else is equal, you're always going to choose the one with the higher recommendation of credit. Look, there's a lot of people out there that teach people how to buy businesses. Roland Frazier is one of the most popular of them. I am the biggest source of teaching their audiences how to use business credit reports to make acquisition decisions. What you don't might not know is that there's all these people, thousands of them out in the world right now, trying to find businesses to buy. Maybe even yours is one of the ones they're looking at. And they come to me and say, Ty, how do we use business credit to figure that out? I said, well, first, here's how to get max access to credit reports. And now what we're going to do is assess these credit reports to determine which ones we want and here's which ones we don't. Well, they don't pay their bills. That they're in trouble. They have low credit scores. You're going to be able to steal that business. Oh, this one. Well, the benefit here is they have large amounts of available credit. They can even get access to the minute you acquire it. Okay, it's worth a higher value. So I'm the one that's teaching these guys that the better the business credit, the higher value, the more they're actually worth. So if you want to make your business worth more money, this is why you're actually going to come in and build business credit. Plus, you're able to quickly generate revenue by getting what you need to make a profit using business credit. Right away, you're able to get net terms on accounts, which means you got 30, 45, 60 days to pay back that credit issuer. And that helps you make money and delay paying back the things that you use to make money. So a couple of our clients, the samples, they launched a tax uh, a tax business, right? They help business owners or individuals that are in trouble with the IRS to be able to get out of trouble with the IRS. They launched it using business credit by basically getting yard signs and flyers to promote lo local small seminars. They then did small seminars, made a lot of money, and then used that money to be able to put into more advertising to grow the business. They literally built a seven-figure business in a year using business credit to get the money they needed to buy the stuff, to generate the revenue and the revenue to help them pay back the credit. Now, again, I'm not saying be irresponsible, right? You don't want to go max out your debt and then use it to fund your business when you have no way of paying it back. That's ridiculous. But business credit helps you with the ability to be able to get the stuff you need to know that then that stuff is going to help you generate more revenue in the future. Okay, our sales cycle might be two months. So if our sales cycle is two months and I pay for a Facebook ad now, I'm not going to get my money from that ad in two months. There's this gap 
between when we pay to get customers in the door and when we actually get them to pay us. All of us businesses have these gap. It might be minutes, it might be months, it might be years, but there is a gap. Business credit closes that gap. It gives us the ability to be able to do the stuff that generate us money that we can then use and be able to scale the business accordingly. It improves our cash flow by keeping more money in the bank and letting us put money on terms and earn points and rewards as well. And it's used to determine insurance premium and other business expenses as well. Look, it's not just lenders or credit issuers, it's suppliers, it's insurance companies. Uh, there's so many sources that look at business credit reports to make decisions about you. And by having good business credit, it's easier for us to get merchant accounts, bank accounts, insurance, so many other things that we need. And because it's viewable by anybody, anybody that wants to see it, including prospective clients and customers as well. And again, a lot of this banks and lenders see your business credit reports, utility providers see them, customers, clients, anybody can actually look at these business credit reports. Now, let me show you something pretty cool. Here's Facebook. They have 40 trade lines on their Experian credit report. Here's Dell with 83. Here's Microsoft with 131. Here's Apple with 138. So what I'm showing you here is that if we are Dave Ramsey stewards, we cannot be stewards in the business world. You just can't be. Okay, the idea of paying off all your debt and having no debt, that's not applicable in the business world. In the business world, it's all about OPM. Would type into the chat if you don't mind. Colorado's in the house, by the way. Pompano Beach is the house. Tell me what OPM means. I'm checking the chat right now. If you know what OPM means, type into the chat right now what OPM means. I'm just curious to see how many people know what this term OPM means. That's there we go. Uh, Nikim says it. Uh, Ron has said it. Antonio said it. Jeremy, other people's money. So these companies are big because they are experts at using other people's money. Don't believe me? I'll show you. Check it out. Here's Google. Oh, I love you, Google. How much debt does Apple have? Okay, Apple have. There we go. Uh, whoops, there we go. Here we go. Uh, Apple debt is $98 billion. Now check this out. How much cash? Oh, I cannot type today. Cash does Apple have? I cannot, literally, I cannot type. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got 43 billion in cash, 22% decline from this, okay? For 2022 billion. Oh my gosh, there's learning lessons all the way around here. Apple is the most profitable company in the world. And look at this. I didn't even expect this. Last year, they had 62 billion in cash. Now they're down to 48 billion. Wow, that's huge, right? So 23% decline in available cash. So again, this is why we want to use credit to fund the business because again, when we have so much cash and the economy changes, even companies like Apple were very susceptible to this, right? So imagine us in the small business world, when we have limited cash and the unexpected happens and we lose 23% of that cash, how much does it affect? It's pretty big, right? Apple's in the same boat. But here's the deal. A lot of people would say, hey, Apple, uh, why don't you reduce your $98 billion in debt by actually using your $48 billion in cash to pay off the debt? Now you have less debt. Okay, last year they were equal. They actually had more money in cash than they had in debt. Now, if we're Dave Ramsey stewards, we're going to say, Apple, just use your cash to pay off your debt. But that's why Apple is the bet, the most valuable company in the world. What they're doing is they're using their cash here to open stores, to do research and development. Then they're by using their debt to buy their supplies, to buy the, 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 the boards for their phones, the glass, all of that stuff. They finance that what they can in supplies to build their stuff. Then they sell their stuff and make money from their stuff and pay off the debt. They all do it. It's why they're the most valuable company in the world. Here, check this out. We can keep going. Pilot Flying J, 153 trades. Publix, 171. Here's Walmart with 513. The kings of the process. 80% of what Walmart sells, they buy using business credit. Think about this. They go and buy bounty paper towels with credit 
They put them on the shelf. You pay them for those paper towels. They take your money and they pay off bounty because they use credit to buy them. It's what they do for 80% of the products. You walk through Walmart, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 products on the shelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight were used buying business credit. Then they take their cash and they use their cash to open stores, right? And this is how Sam Walton went from zero stores to how many stores does Walmart have? 10,000 plus across the world. I don't want to know in the, in the actual United States. Okay, these are in every state. Okay, let's say if Yomar have in the world. Okay, well, there you go. You'll, you'll help me fix it, Google, won't you? Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can get an idea. Here's the number, 11,000 stores. How does somebody open 11,000 stores? Have you ever read Sam Walton's book? Sam will tell you that back when he started it, the guy would go back into the back room to pull his Dun & Bradstreet credit report. Sam was talking about this in the 70s. He used business credit to start the business. When I stand on stages, I start with Sam's story and I don't tell people who Sam is. And then at the end, I reveal it's Sam Walton. Okay, And the reality is he used business credit to start Walmart and Walmart fuels or business credit fuels Walmart today. It accounts for more value in Walmart than all shareholder value combined. Wow. The number one retailer in the world, if you look at all shareholder value of the company, business credit is more valuable to them than all of it. That's how these companies got to be as big as they are. But here, check this out. Here's Mars Incorporated with 22 trades. They make Mars bars. I don't know what just happened there. Okay. And then outside of that, the next thing is, is we've also got companies like Clean Slate Credit Solutions that have seven accounts reported on their business reports. Or I told you about the samples. They actually had 17 accounts on their business credit reports. I mean, enough to compete with Mars Incorporated right here. Um, so even the new guys are able to successfully come in and build business credit. Okay. And again, Here's just an example of what happens. Track to run on in six months of getting results. Credit Suite as business credit decoded to help you to finance and operate your business much more efficiently. It's an ongoing process, but much can be done within six months of working or less. Again, this just gives you an idea. If 10 stars were available, if every company conducted business the way Credit Suite does, there'd be no such thing as skepticism like most people. is very concerned about being duped. Concerned about the cost, TTC, I cannot. And it goes on and on. Credit Suite has been phenomenal. Look, I can do this all day long. The bottom line is, is there's a reason we have the reputation we have because we help business owners like you figure this out and now actually get it, right? So we know enough about what business credit could do for our business. The question is, how do we build it in 2023? Well, first, we got to start with what's called the Fundability Foundation. Then we got to find the vendors to build initial credit reports. Then we got to monitor it. Then we unlock countless financial opportunities. Okay. And if you follow the process, you're there within about four to six months. Now, let me clarify. A lot of people love this question. Love it, love it, love it. How long does it take? If I ask you how long it takes you to build consumer credit, that's a really tough question to answer because it never stops. And that's what one of the testimonials said. It's an ongoing process. It never stops. We never stop using the credit profile to get more and more and more credit and approvals. It never stops. But I will tell you this, if you build your fundability the right way, you get immediate vendor approvals within the first day to week. When you apply, you get initial approvals. They report to the credit bureaus in 30 days. Then you move to retail credit. We're Sam's Club, we're Costco, we're Dell, we're Apple. We start to get that credit one month into the process. We start to get fleet cards for fuel, repair, maintenance of vehicles about two months into the process. And somewhere in about four months or so, four to six months, we start to get Visa card, MasterCard type credit, auto financing. That's the end of the process. The highest tier of credit we can get happens within four to six months for our clients in all fairness. Okay, if you're doing this on your own, as you see in a lot of testimonies for our clients, they try to do it on their own and spend two years to try to get to where our clients get in four months, right? Three years. And that's just the way that it is. I actually have been training under uh, an ex-CIA operative for the last year in multiple different settings and using it for everything on how to learn to shoot, which I'm pretty proficient just in one training session. Um, and also learning business tactics from a CIA's perspective. 
And I went, I'm going to show you a visual at another point in time because I don't have it, but it's really interesting. The CIA uses this approach where a normal person learns a little bit like this. So we kind of go up, and then we kind of go like this, and we learn a little, we learn a little, and then we make mistakes, and then we learn a little bit more, and we make mistakes, and we kind of table off, and eventually, right, we, we learn, we get to the end. CIA doesn't have time for that. So CIA's learning curve is not straight up, but it's almost like this. Then they taper off a little, and then it's like this. And the question is, is how do they have almost a straight up learning curve when normal people learn like this? Now, I didn't believe this, by the way. And I can tell you I'm not a gun guy. I'm not opposed to guns. I love guns. I keep the United States safe, whatever. I'm just not a gun guy. And that's not my thing. I'm, and I've never been comfortable about it. So I went to the CIA camp and he taught me this. I'm like, that's crazy. How can you teach me to be blah, 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 blah. And, it, and I, even, I can't even shoot guns. So I literally left this thing proficient shooter. And what I mean by that is I can now shoot on the run mobile and hit moving targets. I can I learned to shoot getting in and out of vehicles. I learned to shoot in high risk threat uh, situations with multiple attackers pulling guns on me with real weapons. So I learned and went from not being a complete novice to being very proficient shooter in the course of one day. Now, how do they do that? Here's how they do it. And you can use this hack for anything you want to in your life. The CIA does this because what they do is they believe in having a coach. Whoop, right. Here. And what they say is they say this learning is ridiculous. You make mistakes because and then you continue to make mistakes and then you eventually correct because nobody's there to tell you you're making a mistake. The CIA trains them by having a coach right there. And the coach says, hey, look. Um, that's wrong. Do this, do this, do this, do this. And that's how I learned to go from not even being able to shoot a gun to being able to proficiently shoot, which by the way, many expert shooters can't do that. Mobile targets on the move while other people are actually shooting at me, right? I've learned to do that because I had somebody with me that says, here's what you did wrong. Here's what to fix. Here's what you did wrong. Here's what to fix. The real time training helped me go from this to and that is exactly what happened. So when I talk to you about our clients getting results in four to six months, they have our advisors, our coaches right beside them. The coaches say, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You'll get denied. Do this. Uh, well, I made this mistake. Oh, no, no. Here's how to correct that. The correction's immediate. And because the correction's immediate, we can take somebody with a normal uh, approval process of this. You get a little and then you taper off and you, a very long time. And we kind of go almost not straight up, but straight up in growth, because, again, now they have somebody that helps them actually avoid those mistakes and succeed. So I just want to be clear on that when I talk about the actual time frame of results. So let's talk about fundability. Fundability prevents automated turndowns, especially because of fraud. See, what we don't think about is lenders and credit issuers are more concerned with fraud than anything else, because that's what they're actually susceptible to. So step one is we have to understand that most approvals nowadays are done by computers. Computers have a formula of what they're looking for. We need to meet this formula to get approved. So we actually do that by coming in and setting up our entity, okay, and, and preferably a corporation or an LLC. We get an office set up, a real location or even a virtual office. We set up a business banking account that's separate. We make sure all of our information is congruent everywhere online. Very important. This is what these are computers are looking for to approve us, right? We also need to make sure that, again, we have a business name that reflects that we're not in a high-risk industry. We need to have an EIN number for the business. We need to know what our industry code is. You can go to NAICS.com, and I recommend you do, because if we go to NAICS, what happens is if you don't know what your actual NAICS code is, then you're oftentimes seen as being in a high risk industry. So we've got to come in. It's not enough for us to say that we're in real estate. We need to see which one of these categories we're actually in in real estate, right? There's all these subcategories here. So we have to know our exact code. It's not enough to say we're in real estate. We need to know that we're 53, 412, construction, mining, forestry, machining, equipment, rental, and leasing. How's that even in real estate? No clue, but it's why we need to know what our NEICS code is. And it's also why we need to avoid these guys right here. High risk NAICS codes, okay? 
So this is why we need to make sure that we avoid high risk any ICS codes. We've got a great blog post right here about it. You can also see a list from any ICS of the codes we want to avoid. And we want to do this because the credit bureaus will assess our risk against others in our industry. And if we're seen as high risk, it adversely affects our ability to get money. So we need to make sure we know our code. We need to make sure we're not in a high risk industry. If we can get a business license, we want to get a business license. We need a virtual office to a place like Regis, Alliance, Da Vinci, an address that makes it look like we're in a commercial building, like right, right here beside me. And again, not one that makes it look like we're working from our home or a P.O. box or a UPS address. We need to have a business phone number, avoid mobile phones and home phones. We need to have a business website that shows what we do, a bit, an email address as well for the business that reflects uh, the same URL as our website. We need to have a business bank account set up. Personal bank accounts not going to work. OK, we need one. A bank, any bank's going to work. Uh, but we need one that focuses on small businesses as well. It helps us to have multiple types of bank accounts open with that bank account or with that bank as well. So these are things that are just general credibility. We call it fundable foundation. It's what lenders and credit issuers computers are looking at to determine if we should be approved. Okay, once we have all of this, then the next thing that we want to do is we got to make sure the business credit reporting agencies have all the right information. Okay, we can go and get them from Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax Experian. I'm going to show you the cheapest way to get them here in just a matter of moments. We want to make sure the information is submitted. Do they have the right business name, the address, the phone number, the industry code? Think about why this is important. If we apply for a loan and our Secretary of State information doesn't match what's what we're, our application, and then our Facebook page we never updated and it doesn't reflect the address that we actually put on the application. Then we go to pull DMB Equifax Experian from a lender. All three show that we're in different industries and have different information. Lenders now think the company's fraudulent because they can't verify that the company applying is the one out in the world. Now, if we think about this and we have another scenario, you're applying for money and now you have a separate address for your business, a separate phone number, a website that reflects what you do. Your email address matches your website. You have a license for your business and a separate bank account set up for your business as well. You've got some basic credit profiles with DB Equifax Experience. All your information in all those places, including Secretary of State, is the same. It's congruent. This looks like a legitimate, credible business. And now we're changing it. And what's happening is now lenders want to lend to us. Now we become the type of business they want to give money to, not somebody that's begging them for money. And that all happens by having a fundable foundation. And here's an example of what happens when you do this right. Quote, I believe the business finance suite is the best step-by-step paint-by-number system to securing anywhere from $50,000 to $250,000 of business credit. There are ports in your business credit report and helps you separate personal and business credit. What I like most is you have access to actual coaches that will take you by the hand and walk you through the system and answer specific questions you have related to your business. An amazing opportunity for small business owners. This is Kai when he was a gym teacher. He actually got business credit and used it to actually fund his own business, offering business credit finances as a service. And I think he did a million plus in sales the second year. Needless to say, not a gym teacher anymore and very happy because he used coaching to get there because he was able to get his fundability set up and the reasons that were getting him denied to then come in and secure large amounts of business credit to be able to fund it. So another example of what happens when you get fundability right. So business credit vendors that report, the next thing we need to do is we got to get these guys, okay? And so we break these down into tiers we do. And we break business credit building into tiers because certain credit issuers have certain criteria that must be met to get approved. Here, I'll show you exactly what this looks like. And again, I know a lot of you are going to have questions and I'm going to answer most of them uh, while we're live. And then anything I don't get answered, I'll stick around to the end to actually make sure I do get answered. OK, but if we come here and I'll show you the different tiers. But the reason we tier it is because let's say, for example, that Dell only requires you have four accounts on your business credit reports in order to approve you. Well, then let's actually say that when next we look at something like a Chevron and Chevron requires 10 accounts to be able to build business credit. So what we do is we tier them. These are starter vendors. These are accounts here where you're able to get approved. If you just have a few accounts on your business credit reports, well, now you're able to start coming in and getting credit and financing at all these different places.
Okay. Then as we continue to add more accounts to the business credit reports, then tier three opens. So the tiers are really based on how many accounts you have reported on your business credit reports. The more accounts you have reported on your business credit reports, the more of these tiers of credit actually become available. So then we get to like tier four and this gives us Visa cards. It gives us MasterCards, right? Look at all these banks that are issuing credit to us at this point. Now we're able to get financing. We're able to get credit for credit for places like computers like Dell and Ford and Ally to get auto financing here. So now all this money starts to become available. We can even come and get accounts that may not report to the credit reporting agencies, but they'll still issue credit to us. So look at all these. They might not help us build business, but they're all available to us. So all everything from banks to being able to come in and get safety products and active wear to being able to get access to Amazon here as well, American Express, right, credit unions. So all of this starts to open up. And by the way, look at where I am right now. I mean, I can just scroll and scroll and scroll. Southwest Airlines, this is our system our clients use to build business credit. And what's nice about this is that for every one of these sources, we just literally say, hey, here's everything you need to know. We actually have relationships with the underwriters. We list their actual underwriting criteria, the description of every source, the backlinks to get approved, where they report if they do, the terms they issue. So think about that. It's like an open book test. The reason our clients are getting to where they're getting in four to six months and people take three years is our clients don't have to get denied. They can quickly see that they qualify they have. They can come and see exactly the underwriting criteria and they can make sure they meet that criteria before they even apply. That way they're only applying for what they know they can get approved for. Now, each tier takes about 30 to 45 days because that's how long it takes the credit you get to report. See, so I need to move to tier to tier in business credit building. But the reason I need to wait is because I need the accounts to report. So let's say, for example, here that I come back. And I'm in tier three in my actual system. There's a lot of accounts. So I'm going to scroll up. So let's say I'm in tier three. Well, if I get accounts here and I need five more accounts to get to tier four, well, then if I get the five accounts here, I need to give them 30 days to use those accounts and for those accounts to actually report. That's why it takes about 30 to 45 days to move from tier to tier to tier to tier because you got to get credit in this tier. It reports in 30 days. Then you move to this tier. You use the credit. It reports, et cetera. But the important thing to note is that doesn't mean you're waiting four to six months to get money. Keep in mind that all through the process, even 30 days in, this is the type of money that starts to become available to you. So business credit building is about getting money through every single step of the way. And the more money you get, the more credit you get that reports, the more you move through the tiers and the more types of credit actually become available to you. So that's why we have four tiers. It's why it takes about 30 to 45 days to navigate them. And it takes our clients about four to six months to get to two to three years of what somebody else normally is going to do. Now, unlike personal credit, uh, most business credit accounts don't report. It's estimated that over 90% of trade vendors don't report to the business credit reporting agencies. That's why it's important to know the credit sources that actually do. And oftentimes they change. A lot of people ask why we don't just give it out in downloads. Well, because it literally our data team updates the accounts daily. I get, geez, man, sometimes 10 or 20 notification of account terms changing and things moving between tiers because it changes all the time. But having that updated information is part of the reason that you move so fast. So many clients get access to over 10,000 in business credit within the first 30 days without a credit check, without a guarantee, and without access to a personal guarantee, without access to business credit lines. They're able to get that for marketing, office equipment, fuel, fleet cards. I think you get the idea. So this is a look at what you're getting in tier one. You're really getting started with vendor accounts, starter vendors, Granger, Uline, people you can buy products and services you need. Then we get about 30 days into it to store credit, service credit, retail credit. Then we start to get the fleet credit in about month two, company vehicles in about month four, and Visa MasterCard in month four. It's going to give you an idea of the tiers of credit and what you get. And here's just a bunch of these guys, right? Here's a, another approval. Here's an Amex approval. Uh, again, you're getting an idea. I think we went over some of these already. Ten, twenty thousand dollar approvals. When you do it right, this is what it looks like. So 
Here's Josh Elledge from Orlando, Florida. One thing that's beautiful about Credit Suite, you start with baby steps. The first thing we did is get a couple of revolving credit lines, store credit. Then we graduated to gas cards. Then we ended up getting a very nice line of credit at Amazon. Then we worked our way up and got a very, very nice SBA loan. Thanks to Credit Suite, we were able to get our business and finances in order from a what looks good to potential lenders or potential creditors and became very attractive to lenders. The best options are always available to those that have the credit game locked down. That's what Credit Suite allows you to do. We've been able to make smart investments in staffing, marketing systems, sales systems, product development, all those things for Credit Suite we couldn't do. I don't have to stress out as much anymore because I have money in the banks to take advantage of opportunities. I'm not as stressed. I can keep a bank account that has plenty of cushion in there. That cushion, honestly, just makes me a better dad, makes me a better husband because I'm not stressing out. So the reason I love this testimonial is that you can relate to this. I've been broke running a business. I've had money running a business. It's way better to run a business when you have a cat cushion because you're not stressed. And you can be present with your family, present with your friends, and really enjoy your actual life instead of being stressed all the time. But the reason I want to show you this is you see Josh just walked you through what I just walked you through. He started with baby steps. He got a couple of these store credit cards, right? He got gas cards. He went to Amazon. Then he got his funding in order from what looks good to lenders, fundability, but we covered that. Then he got an SBA loan. Okay, so we can see the progress of him all the way to a, an, an SBA loan. And he built a million dollar plus businesses, pivoted out of PR into LinkedIn lead generation, and uh, is just killing it. He was, he, he got, he hurt his back, but he was going to hang glide with me this weekend. I wasn't able to run into him, but I look forward to running into him next time. So we've got to monitor our business credit reports along the way. You can go to creditsuite.com forward slash monitoring. Remember, to move through tiers of credit, we have to see how many accounts on our business credit reports. We can only do that if we see the credit reports. So credit reports are about 250 bucks from the credit bureaus. You can go to creditsuite.com forward slash monitoring, and you're able to get them for as little as 24 bucks a month. That's as cheap as they are. They're only 24 bucks a month. Um, Alicia says, is it true DMB will be replaced with another company? Uh, I see no possibility of that happening, but I'll tell you where the rumor comes from is that DMB used to be their DUNS number, or excuse me, uh, their DUNS number used to be used by contractors like of the government. And then the government changed away from DMB to what they call a new system they call the SAM system. So this is where this rumor comes from. DMB is a gigantic company. There's no, no risk I've seen of them going away. They're publicly traded. They're huge and worth a lot of money. But the system that's used to like, qualify people for the U.S. government, for example, has changed from Duns to same. So that's actually where that rumor comes from. I just happened to catch that question coming in. So the next thing is we want to unlock the, lock the best funding options. If we've done this, then we've actually come in. We've got initial starter vendors. And by the way, one more hack. It's called credit line hybrid. In the beginning, we got our fundability in line. Then we got starter vendors, Uline, Quill, right? Then we came in and we were able to monitor our business credit. Now we're able to get more and more financing. Another hack to bypass vendor accounts, Uline, Quill, ones we use to start building business credit, is something called credit line hybrid. And credit line hybrid is a way that we can actually get access to real usable credit lines and use those that report to the business credit reporting agencies to build business credit. We bypass the vendor step and replace it with credit lines. We have to have good credit to do it, good consumer credit, 680, 700 FICO scores or higher, you or a guarantor. Somebody else could sign for you as a guarantor and do it, but you need to have good credit or somebody else needs to have good credit. Then you can bypass the Uline Granger step and use that to build the initial business credit and get like, our average client gets $55,000 in credit lines, even as a startup with that program. So there's two ways to build initial visitor credit, business credit, Uline, Granger type of, of vendor, starter vendors, or then we can use credit line hybrid. Either way, we need to get credit monitoring and then we continue to go through the steps. We get vehicle purchases, Visa card, MasterCard, hundreds of these sources become available to get fuel repair maintenance of vehicles, Apple, Dell, HP for computers, uh, almost every major retailer, even Nordstrom and Macy's offers this kind of business credit. And that walks you through uh, everything you really need to know to successfully navigate the process. Now, here's the question. You can do it like normal people do it. I'm going to learn a little and then I'm going to go through this learning curve and figure it out on my own and learn a little and learning curve on my own. Um, or you can do what the CIA does. Go, whoop. 
And the way you go whoop is just by actually having the guidance and, and help that you need to not make mistakes, to go through this in four months, five months, six months, instead of taking two to three years. So as you can see now, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now, you can get business financing regardless of personal credit. You can get it without collateral. You can get it as a startup. You can get it without a personal guarantee. Uh, and your business can get its own credit profile and score it uses to fund itself. Now, you're probably watching this because you're looking for the fastest, easiest way to get business credit for your business. You probably already struggled to go through this process and do it on your own. And that's why we've got a system. I showed you a little bit of it called the Business Finance Suite. And that helps you improve the fundability, fix all the things. There's 125 aspects of fundability. I covered like seven today. We help you go through and get your fundability in line where lenders and creditors want to lend you money. And then we walk you through the tiers of building business credit, even being able to monitor your business credit. And then we give you access to finance specialists that open up loans and credit lines. And it really helps. We cut two and a half years off the process because we just combine coaching and technology, okay? Our newest system, which rolls out this year, which all of our clients get grandfathered into, um, actually just gonna roll out in January. Our fundability system is, um, oh my gosh, it's so ridiculous, it's so sick. It actually plugs into the credit bureaus that lenders use, pulls the data forward, gives you a fundability score, tells you what's wrong with fundability from a lender's perspective, helps you fix it to raise your score to become more fundable. You can even go through the system to actually fix the discrepancies, make sure your information can grow it. And then it plugs right into your actual business credit reports. And then based on what's on your business credit reports, it populates all the accounts that you'll be able to get approved for. This is our newest version that we're grandfathered in but just to give you an idea of what kind of tech we develop it's a million dollars plus this year we put into it but it's awesome because you no longer have to wonder what you get approved for our system tells you what you qualify for now the newer system will even qualify you based on all the data coming from the credit bureaus themselves it's pretty cool and this combines this technology and coaching to help you expedite your actual results and i'm not i won't read through all of this but here's Something here, for example, with Herman Dulce talking about his favorite credit card was at $10,000 Amazon, then was able to get a $40,000 Amex and used it to basically grow multiple businesses. It talks about the coach calling five times a week, which we do do, especially in the beginning, and calling him consistently after that. Our coaches are there to help you expedite the result. They're like that CIA training person that's sitting right beside you. Now, you may be thinking it won't work for you. You can't do it on your own. But again, anybody can build business credit. You can go through my videos and training or even what I provided here. Um, and are you, the question is, is you know, do you have the most up-to-date information? Okay, if not, like you're in the right place. Like I said, there's two ways you can do this. You can go through this trial and error process that takes years and most give up, obviously, or you expedite the results and have a coach beside you. And the coach beside you is obviously what gets you the better result and gets it for you faster. So again, with our system, we help you get fundability set up before you apply. We help you set up your entity correctly, your back, your office, your business banking, your merchant account. Um, worth about 400 bucks in itself. We help you get set up with all three reporting agencies, DMB, Equifax, Experian, get your Dunn's number with Dunn and Bradstreet, fix inaccuracies on your business credit report. We also help you on fundability, set up your phone number, get your business license set up, your website, your email. That's all part of our process to help you set all those things up. We also help give you access to hundreds of vetted vendors that report to the reporting agencies. So you're getting access to the 10%, less than 10% accounts that do report, not get caught up in 90% that don't. And that's what I run into. People say to me, hey, I'm trying to build business credit. I got credit with these sources. Uh, but, you know, I, they're not reporting. Why not? Well, most sources don't report. We help you save that learning curve and know the sources that actually will. Hard to find business credit, fleet cards, auto financing, Visa card, MasterCard, cash credit. Uh, our financing includes SBA loans, conventional loans, cash flow financing, uh, asset based lending as low as 10 percent, term loans, credit line hybrid with zero percent financing and let you take cash out at zero percent. So this is just an example. We've got over. 40 funding types of programs that our funding funding specialists work with as well. I'm not, I'm, there's, there's so much success that it's hard to read all these to you. But here's an example of Sam. And Sam came to us because he wanted to open another martial arts studio. Him and his partner, Lonnie, gave themselves 18 months to do it. 
We helped them open a second location in only six months. In 18 months, they opened a third location. So we opened uh, an extra location in the same time frame they originally set forth. And they're currently working on opening up to five more locations and franchising their business. And we have funded that journey along the way. I can give you a lot of these case studies, people that went from one tow truck to a fleet, people that went from one truck on the road to a 50 fleet truck operation, people that went from, uh, you know, somebody like Sam taking a martial arts studio where he went online and now is franchising. This is the kind of success that happens when you build business credit. Now, when you're working with us, you're getting 24 seven access to the finance suite, coaches that walk you through the process, help with setting up your name, entity, EIN, address and phone setup, setting up your fax or 411 listing, helping you set up your website, your email address the right way, making sure you're compliant with what lenders and credit issuers are looking for, helping you set up your bank and merchant account, get set up with DB Equifax Experian, get your Dunn's number with Dunn & Bradstreet, your BIN number with Experian, dispute inaccuracies. We give you the largest supply of starter vendors, including exclusive sources you won't get anywhere else because we help them get the ability to report. Massive selection, retail, fleet credit without a guaranteed credit check, hard to find cash credit, Visa card, MasterCard, auto financing, and all types of financing from cash flow, unsecured financing, asset-based lending with rates of less than 2%, SBA term loans. You get the idea about 12 G's worth of total value. And if you are interested in getting started with us, we found the clients that get the best results are the ones that take action the fastest. So if you're getting started with us through Friday, I'm going to give you 10 grand worth of bonuses. Uh, this is a networking site. It's called a My360 site. It's worth about 800 bucks. It's from the world's number one branding expert, Ray Perez. You can go to mine too. It's tycrandall.360.com. I have it. When people ask for my card, I pull up a picture of me that's a QR code. They scan it and they automatically add me as a contact in the phone. It's super cool. We're going to get you access to one of those. Ray is also having a huge event. Uh, where he does all of our personal branding for you. We're going to get you access to that as well. Tax optimization consultation with Tax Hive. This is a Kevin O'Leary company. Message maximizer to be able to get your message and mess matched up with your avatar so you can successfully advertise in places like Facebook and Google. How to delegate and manage like a beast. You don't want to work in your business. You want to work on it. You can only do that if you learn to delegate. Howard Shore is a multi best selling author, and he's teaching us how to do that in an $800 course. Entrepreneurial Leap traction most big companies run off a system called eos the entrepreneur operating system it's from a guy named uh, gino wickman he's got two best-selling books traction and entrepreneurial leap gino's a buddy of mine he's given away 11 resources to help you grow your business as well pam jordan everything you need to know about accounting but you really don't want to know condensed into one course to help you simplify that how to make your first 100k in real estate my best-selling author and dare and investment guru derek vaness Again, a great opportunity for real estate. If you want to make money in that, we're throwing that in. We're going to spend an hour, 30 minutes, 60 minutes with you on the phone, getting your fundability in line. We're going to give you DMB Equifax experience for free for three months or 750 bucks. 90% discount on credit monitoring after that as well, saving you 2,200 bucks a year. And even though we're here to help you build your business or get the money you need to grow your business, you got to grow your business in 2023. So we don't do that part. So we actually went and found the gurus out in the industry that teach you the strategies to grow a business. We bought all their stuff and got licensing rights. And I'm going to give you that too. It's 30 courses, guides, blueprints, and tools for generating leads, branding, marketing, advertising, funnel building, product pricing, social media mastery, viral video marketing, rapid business growth, multi-million dollar valuation tool to see how much your business is worth. Uh, valuations are about 40 to 50 grand when you have them done. I'm blown away by that, but we've been looking into them and they are that much. Uh, you get a valuation tool to see how much your business is worth at a 28 page report to see what it is to make it worth more and even compare you against your competitors as well. So again, that's worth over 10 grand, $10,620 to be exact. So that's about 22,000 plus worth of value. Uh, we've got a finance source called Credit Key. You can finance through them for as low as uh, $282 a month. You can finance through us for payments as low as $597 a month or get a massive discount if you're doing one pay of $29.97. So again, multiple different options to finance. Okay. And again, um, you, we think you should be able to get the money you need when you need it, but not knowing approval standards, not getting all funding in one place, not having access to business credits, what holds you back. 
We're going to fix all of that with this solution. And we'll even help customize payments for you, secure financing to be able to enroll. So again, if you want to actually work with us through this process, we will financially make it make sense for you to do so. Plus, we're going to give it all to you, even if you make payments right away. So it shifts the risk to us because you're getting access to our coaches, our tech, everything, even with your first payment. And again, the nice thing is, is usually you have to decide between time and money. And with us, you get both. We save up to two, two years, two years plus off of your business credit building, saves you time. What could you do if you got that money two years faster? And then because setting up your DUNS number, uh, getting 411 listing valuations, because this is part of our process, you save so much more money working with us than you do it on your own. You're going to spend $2,200 a year just extra in credit monitoring than working with us. I mean, that alone is massive savings. So it actually saves you time and money to be able to work with us. And again, uh, a tremendous amount of value that you're getting and everything you need to be able to successfully navigate through this process as well. Uh, and again, uh, you're able to get it all with payments as low as 282 bucks to credit key. So if you want to get these bonuses we talked about, all you have to do is give us a call. You can go to creditsuite.com forward slash webinar, take advantage and get the bonuses. Give us a call, send us an email, and uh, we will make sure that we answer any questions that you have. And you get a free, that free assessment we talked about with DMB, Equifax, Experian Credit Monitoring for 30 days, finance assessment, fundability assessment, tips and tactics to build business credit, 100% free. Give us a call at 877-600-2487. The offer with bonuses, you're able to get at creditsuite.com forward slash webinar. I think you may even be able to apply for credit key there as well. You can also give us a call and we can get you financed through credit key. I'm going to give you a secret. Give you a secret. Credit key doesn't just finance our product. They'll give you an actual credit line that you can use to buy with us and to use for other purposes. So just by starting with us, we can even help you get access to a credit line, any FICO score or higher, you or somebody else that's needed a typically type of credit. It's pretty average credit they look at for approval. And they'll even give you a credit line. So just by starting to work with us, you're getting a credit line to get your journey started with financing. So pretty cool. I'm going to stick around right now. We're done. So you already got the free gift of the finance assessment. Here's how to get it. Give us a call. You can also email us info at creditsuite.com. And I'm just going to stick around now and navigate through the actual questions that I have. I got about 30 minutes, and then I jump to a private coaching webinar for our partners. If you're interested in offering business credit financing as a service, talk to our team. You'll also get an option at creditsuite.com forward slash webinar, not the training to talk about that, but if you actually train with us or you work with us to offer business credit financing, we can create a whole secondary or primary business for you in this space you earn about 2000 in profit for every sale you make. So like you make three sales, you make 6000 like $6,000 in profit in your pocket. So if you're really looking for, and again, how much you make depends on how much you sell it for. You choose the sales price. That's based on our average partner selling it. Um, and again, if you really want a lucrative way to make money into 2023, well, then get with our team and talk about our partner program. It's also at creditsuite.com forward slash webinar. You're getting all these bonuses through Friday for that as well. And then I got to run at three o'clock to a private training just for our partners. And by the way, I've been for 10 years and all of that is archived. And my private training just teaches how we built Credit Suite. It's exactly what it takes to actually succeed. So again, um, if you're interested in that, you know, talk to our team about the partner program as well. Okay, I'm going to go through and say uh, hello. And I gave a lot of you shout outs during the live stream. I just want to make sure that I answer um, any questions that you have here. Bless for thanks for the update. Appreciate everybody coming in. And I just want to get through to the actual questions. Doing it on my own. Um, okay. And this is the problem we see here. And, you know, this, this uh, we're coming in and it doesn't say your name. It just says Facebook user. But it says, I've been doing it on my own and results are lacking. And again, we talked about this. This is the difference between having a coach beside you to help you expedite the process or do it on your own. I got plenty of training out there. You can do it on your own. There's a reason that, you know, 50,000 people work with us because they want the faster years of your results. So hopefully you got some tips if you're still trying to do it on your own. But I gave you the shortcut as well. So thank you for bringing that in. Um, is it true? And we talked about that as well. Um, we're in, we're told we can use our Google number for the 411. So the bank can see it's a Google number. 
That's what we have. The, the, the Google number is okay. Some vendors don't like Google numbers, but a voice over IP number, a virtual phone number from uh, from CallRail, from Google, from Ring Central, free to voice, those are okay. You just don't want to use a mobile phone or a home phone. That's the kind of stuff that you really want to make sure that you avoid. Okay. Um, do I have to set up an appointment? You don't. You can give us a call or send us an email. Sometimes our team is tied up. Are tied up after a webinar like this, we get obviously a lot of people that are calling. So if you ever leave us a voicemail or send us an email, we'll get with you. You don't have to schedule an appointment. That's a quick, quick way you can come in as well. And um, I need some. Uh, uh, okay. And again. Uh, okay, so I think that answers a lot of the questions. Uh, just purchased a commercial property five months in. I want to access my equity to fund my new business in the same location. You could do that. That's a mortgage. So you'd have to go probably a commercial mortgage broker is the best way to do that. And then just do a cash out refinance on the property. So that's absolutely something you could do, Christopher. Uh, and anonymous attendees, how do you open a business bank account with poor personal information? You're fine. So there's a system called check systems. And by the way, our part of our process, part of our finance suite, our coaches help you access check systems and clean that up. So if you had problems in the past with getting bank accounts, it's because of information included in a system called check systems. Our part of our process, our coaches help you get your check systems report, clean it up, and LexisNexis and DBFX experience. But the answer to you, if you're trying to do this on your own, is that you should be able to uh, open up a bank account. If not, try a company called North One. They're available online. The only time you're going to have a hard time opening a bank account is if you've defaulted on uh, with a bank account before. That means you're in check systems. And the simple answer to your question is you want to get at your check systems credit report. You want to dispute it to have that information removed. And that will clear a path for you uh, to be able to get your bank account. So hopefully that answers your question. Uh, is this program applicable or beneficial to nonprofits? Yep, it absolutely is. As I talked about throughout this training, nonprofits can get business credit just like for-profits can. But I, I don't want to ma mask this. The, the problem you have as a nonprofit is getting loans and credit lines. Most of the time you're a nonprofit, lenders want to see tax returns that show a profit. So it's a huge barrier to get loans and credit lines, but you still can get business credit as a nonprofit the same as a for-profit company can. And that's up an hour for the webinar. Can I sit at the extras? You absolutely can. Reach out to your sales rep and let them know that you want access to the bonuses for today. And congratulations. And by the way, congratulations for getting enrolled. Looking forward to working with you. Um, and when you do that, then we will make sure that we actually get you access to that. We actually get you access to uh, the actual bonuses for this training. A lot of people saying hello from Arizona, from D.C., from Sacramento, from Jacksonville. I mean, we've got everybody in the house. Uh, George Layton Credits.com in Miami. Um, good morning from Connecticut. Icon Zoom and oh man, audio is excellent. Okay, New Jersey, Missouri in the house, Washington D.C. A lot of people are saying hello, so I'm gonna skip a lot of those uh, just because we have so many people. Um, hello from Phoenix. What does it say here? I want to open a new business or buy an existing business. Let's open up some of these chats here. Okay, so this applies for a new business or for an existing business as well. And we're getting a little chance. I'm just showing you everybody here saying hello, so we can. Uh, see that everybody got a chance to say hi here. Native Fair Credit Union is good for starting business credit. They're not. You can get a big bank account from Navy Federal Credit Union. They're not going to give you credit until I think typically tier three. So they are good to issue business credit cards, but you need to have accounts on your business credit reports before you get them. Scientia. Uh, so uh, you want Navy Federal Credit Union is good, but you probably want to wait till about tier three to be able to access them. Uh, Tavada watching from Houston, Texas you guys in the house. Okay. Outdoor dining, a lot of different industries here. Um, filed in nine on you and still collecting money off you from your trust fund. I'm not sure exactly what that is about. So I'm going to skip that. If that's a question, let me know. Okay. And again, I'm just trying to scroll through here. Can PPP loans that were given out of the state of the pandemic help with establishing business? They don't because like most kinds of credit financing, they don't report to the business credit reporting agencies. So any kind of loan, credit line, credit card you get that doesn't report to a business credit reporting agency, it's not going to help you. So PPP loans do not help you build business credit. A lot of people coming in with other people's money. Everybody do the answer to that. I love that. Okay, agree totally. I'm working on my fifth starter business uh, vendor credit tier one. Okay, will the slides. Uh, we can get you a slide deck. I'll throw that in as a bonus if you're getting with us. If you're, if you're starting with us this week, I will make sure that I get this to our team when we're done. And they'll even give you this as a bonus as well. You can watch the playback of this, though. If you attended through the training, 
we will send you a playback of the webinar even if you don't get started with us. And if you're watching on a social channel, you can watch it there too. Uh, I love this. Okay. Um, okay. So promoting your business today. Yeah. 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 I, I did. I did give you a shortcut. So I spent, if you keep track, about an hour and 10 minutes of just giving you uh, nothing but content and value and giving you the steps of how to do this. If you want to do it on your own, because that's how I operate. If you want to do it on your own, um, you can, Marcus. Now you, you have the formula. I gave you the blueprint today. And Marcus, there are other people that want the faster path, right? They want to spend 280 bucks and have a coach and have the software and have a solution and have a bunch of bonuses to help them make their best year and get more credit financing. And then we, we talked for about 20 minutes to that group too of people that want the faster solution. So we address both today. I uh, recommend to anybody to get a free consultation with Credit Suite or Tavon, I appreciate that. And you can see, and they, uh, and again, we don't do a hard inquiry in credit report. So again, these are just real testimonials that are pulling up here. Um, luxury car rental. Okay, that's cool. I do, I do luxury car rental. I have a McLaren, I rent out. I talk about that. I think I even have training on Turo or on uh, YouTube on how to do that. Do I have a personal credit score of 620? You have to for credit key. Typically, they're 620, but they're primarily revenue based. So if you have some kind of revenue in the business, there's a good chance you can be approved. You have to have average credit or better. Uh, we talked about that. I've been watching YouTube for a little over a year. And I can say you've been extremely helpful. Awesome. And the knowledge you share. I look forward to working with you. Now, keep in mind, and I appreciate that too, Adrian. Thank you very much. And again, a lot of people watch for months or a year and they're not getting the results our clients are getting in four months. So remember, I got a lot of free information out there that can help you. But again, um, a, a, lot, a paid call, a paid path through that will help you be a little bit faster as well. And we talked about that questions already. Um, can you still get the bonus? Depends on when you enroll, Ronnie. But if you talk to your sales rep and let them know what you're looking for, then we can help figure that out. I'm in the apparel business. Yeah, it's a bit, it's applicable to any business because if you think about it, if you're in the apparel business, you've got to buy supplies from somewhere. You got to buy fabric, for example. I don't know what you're in. And, and business credit works to buy all of that stuff you need to produce the thing that you're selling, in this case, apparel. Uh, we talked about the coaching program, the price has been in for about 15 years, some of these things on the checklist. Uh, can we still do it at a cheaper rate? Um, have, yeah, if it's done, then we can absolutely give you a discount. Or we even have a do-it-yourself credit builder where you don't work with our coaches because you're already steps ahead. But keep in mind, this is the problem, Katrina. A lot of people that have been in business a long time are the ones that need the most help because they didn't do fundability the right way. So we can take a look at that with you and we have no problem giving you a discount or even giving you access to a do-it-yourself version where you don't have our coaches if you're already a lot through this process. But a lot of people we see that have been in business longer have problems uh, where their fundability is really jacked up, they even need sometimes more help. So something to think about. Uh, hypothetically, can one of the business credit cards uh, we get from you guys be used to offset the cost? Well, again, um, you, you, the answer to that is kind of yes and no. If you're using credit key, yeah, we'll get you a credit line to enroll through credit key. The problem is to get to a Visa or MasterCard level, you're going to be four to six months in the program. So you'll have already paid a lot of the enrollment with us through that four to six months. But yeah, we will use credit key as a credit line to give, to help you not just enroll with us, but a credit line you can use elsewhere as well. But if it's, uh, we talked about that and forward to, looking forward to seeing you all. Uh, thank you for your help. We appreciate that. You want to be the whole program because uh, while doing, okay. You want to do the whole program because you will hit a wall doing it yourself. This team is super helpful. And guys, again, I, I'm just scrolling. You can see these are real case studies in the room of people that have worked with us and the success they're getting. So uh, you're seeing this as I'm scrolling. And I, I just want to show you, I mean, you're not having anybody that's bashing us here. I might get to those later. I don't I hope not. But again, there's a reason we have good reputation. Happy belated veterans to Hamster Credit and all the veterans uh, from Marine. Well, thank you very much for your service. Uh, at being a veteran, I, I really have a heartfelt thanks to all veterans out there, especially those ones that have served overseas and those that have served during wartime. Okay. I mean, I love what I did. But again, thank you to you and all the service members out there as a, as a follow-up here to Veterans Day. Thank you for this webinar. Very beneficial. Uh, I would love to cross paths. My name is Tim. Nice to meet you. There, thanks for coming in. Okay. So now I'm going, I've got multiple chats because I'm I'm in a live stream in, in YouTube, Facebook, and a bunch of bunch of other places as well. Um, yes, you can get the recording. It will be on YouTube. Okay, would you uh, would like to speak to somebody? All you have to do is give us a call, send us an email, and hello, good morning from Florida. Thanks for coming in. Uh, how about car parts? Yep, we have O'Reilly Auto Auto Parts. 
amongst others, are part of our finance suite. So O'Reilly Auto Parts, there's two or three other really big auto parts stores that are also part of our finance suite that are credit that you can get. I'm trying to get my booker business off the ground. Well, hopefully this will help you, give you the money that you need to do that. Does a zero at the end of the suite number affect your business address credibility? It does not. The zero does not affect your ability to do that. I'm with the company that takes uh, 12 months. I wish I found you first. Yes. Uh, I am with you, Joy. And by the way, I gave you an example of Christine that got over a million dollars in business credit. She was with three companies before she found us. Three, got nowhere, and then got with us. And you saw in her testimony when she did it, she had 800000 in credit secured over a million uh, a million uh, in total credit. So again, I wish, wish I found you too, but it's not still too late. Is Quill reporting a business credit? Quill is, but Quill, we moved to tier three. Quill used to be a starter vendor. Now they require accounts in your business credit report for they'll approve you. Sometimes they take up to 90 days to report. Not one of our favorite ones, but Quill does still report. They just, they're just they just a tier three. They take a while to get reported. I did the one-time payment. Oh, I sent out credit suite. Uh, uh, should I uh, switch to payments? No, uh, you don't need to switch to payments. We actually report through Credit Safe, for example. So that will get reported on your business credit reports, even as a one payment. And it's better when you do one payment because when you do one payment, it shows a higher amount on your credit report than monthly amounts. And what that does is it helps your future payments or uh, your future approvals get higher. So we always want to get the highest credit limits we can. That's what helps us get future high credit limit, credit limits that are even higher. I hear clearly, but I sat through and took some notes. Uh, it sounded like the words were being repeated into each. I'm not sure. Sorry about that, Heather. And uh, hopefully everybody else didn't have that issue. Um, how long does it take to get the website up and running? And can you send me a playback video uh, to get the website up and running for your own business? You could typically have it done within a week. You can use anything like Wex or Weebly. Uh, you can write the if you have the content. If I have content for a website right now, my guy that I use on Upwork to build websites by tomorrow would have a website up and running for me. If it's a landing page, one page website, he'd have it running for me in an hour. So it takes a day if you have the content for the website actually done. Happy belated Veterans Day. Thank you very much. I appreciate that as well. Okay. Um, okay. So I just heard you say something about the video on YouTube. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, no, you're going to, you're in the webinar. So the webinar, we'll send you a playback to this tomorrow. So everybody that attends the webinar will send you a playback of this tomorrow. If you're watching on a social channel, then you'll be able to watch the playback of this on the channel that you're watching. Uh, very beneficial. Okay. Uh, and uh, more veterans. Thank you very much. You want to do the whole program. Okay. Okay. So I think we're done. I think I've made it through most of those. Well, I heard I'm very interested in the process. Can I have a repeat to hear it clearly? Thank you for inviting me to the webinar. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. So, what you're asking me to repeat, but with us, we've got multiple options to enroll one payment, monthly payments, or we can finance it for you through a company called Credit Key that will give you a credit line that you can use to buy with us and to buy through other companies. And you can access all that at creditsuite.com forward slash webinar, or you can just give us a call. We'll talk to you about that uh, more there as well. And I'm trying, okay, does, okay, and who do you use on Upwork? Oh, I don't even know. I've got multiple providers. My Upwork is insane because I do a lot of different things. So I have um, several people that build websites for me, a lot of people that do every type of thing. I probably work with uh, 20 people on Upwork. So I've got a bunch of, but it's not hard. Just put up a job post on Upwork. Say you're looking for a website builder. And you'll have a bunch of people that will apply and then look at their past job history. If they got five stars and really good feedback from previous employers, that's a pretty good indicator that, that they're going to be a good source for you. Quill cool is the only vendor I got. Uh, what are the others? Uh, another one are Uline and Granger. Those are two others that can help work for you as well. And again, guys, these are the problems you have when you're doing it on your own. Like you, you don't even know the vendors in each tier, and that's why it takes three years. But to help you, Felton, uh, Uline and Granger are two that I really like right now that can help you uh, report and give you initial credit when you have none. Is Credit Key going to check my personal credit? They will look at personal credit, and then they'll also look at revenue. That's what they're typically looking at. Do you have the income or revenue to pay them back? Is your personal credit score average, 600, 620? And if you have that, you can get approved. If not, uh, then we can finance it for you. We can work out payments for you. So hopefully that helps you there. 
And uh, that is okay. Wait a minute. Uh, I like I like only using Landy Pages and WordPress. Uh, just want a good referral for Landy Pages only. Anybody can build those things. I build my landing pages in Weeb in Weebly, and my web guy puts them up for me in an hour. So Weebly, you could do it on your own. I just I've learned where the best use of my time is, and it's not in building websites. So honestly, anybody could build simple web one page websites. Figure out what platform you want it built on WordPress, Weebly, Wix, whatever, and then just put up a job on Upwork and you'll find a bunch of people, find people with good feedback. And I think that can help you. This webinar has been awesome. I appreciate that feedback. Okay. Um, and I need you to help me with payments. We'll work it out for you, Jamal. Just give us a call and then we'll work with you and figure out what's affordable. And then we can figure out a solution for you individually from there. What if your personal credit score is low? Would I still be able to get finance? It's about 600 to 620 through credit key. If they won't do it, we will finance it for you. We will work out payments for you. So again, you've got three options. You get a discount if you do it in one payment. You can also get a credit line through credit key. You can use for other re, uh, other things beyond just enrolling with us. And the third option is we'll finance it for you. We will work out payments for you as well. So we've got three different options there. And any of those three, all you have to do is just give us a call. And Jamal says, I've been talking to Matt K. Matt K is our sales manager. He runs a team of about 20 of our sales reps and also works with our sales development team too, which is like 15 deep. So Matt is definitely the guy uh, to talk to. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I have to close this down, log into a different account. Then I go into private training with just our partners. So if you're interested in learning more about running your business, growing your business, the secrets of building an eight-figure business and beyond, well, then talk to our team about our partner program. Our prices are about ready to go up $1,500 but you still have a chance on our partner program to get in before those prices go up. It's not much different than our core program. And it also gives you the ability to offer business credit financing as a service. If you got value from this, make sure you like and subscribe the top right of our page right here at creditsuite.com. Just because I'm done doesn't mean your questions will go unanswered. All you have to do is give us a call and our team will make sure that those questions are answered. And then we can talk to you more about actually offering business credit financing as a service and getting it for your business as well. This says, I cannot hear clearly. Is that going through? It's double speaking. Either, um, I can't help you there because I, and nobody else is describing that problem, right? So I've had some other people come in that, that say, hey, look, like, like somebody mentioned audio issues. I'm okay. So that I can't help you with. Uh, but maybe if you go back to the replay of this, hopefully it'll be uh, more clear. Hopefully we should be okay. Hopefully that hope so there's not a lot more i can do in that case to help you uh so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up i'm going to know more questions for me thank you very much for tuning in don't forget ten thousand dollars not just oh this could be worth ten grand ten legitimate thousand dollars worth of bonuses that you're able to get by friday when you enroll with us we will work out payments for you we will make it affordable you're working with our tech our team and you get grandfathered into our brand new system it's going to be rolling out in a matter of months so again, pretty cool opportunity. If you don't want to continue to spend months or years building it and you want to get results now. So by January, you're going into 2023 with credit cards in hand that you can use to grow your business. Then let's talk. Okay. Work with my, work with our team through this process so we can expedite the results, get you access to money to take advantage of opportunities and let's make 2023 the best year ever. All you have to do is go to creditsuite.com forward slash webinar to get started or give us a call at 877-600-2487. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, we'll have to reach out for more specific answers. Give us a call, Jay. Appreciate you all very much for coming in. Appreciate your time, know how valuable it is. I look forward to seeing you on our next training where we talk about more cool ways to get money for your business. Don't forget the playback of this will be available on the social channel you watched on. If you watched on the webinar, we'll send you the playback back tomorrow if you're enrolling with this this week we'll get you this the uh, actual deck here as well all you have to do is go to creditsuite.com forward slash webinar and give us a call at 877-600-2487 thanks for tuning in have a great day look forward to working with you all and helping you build business credit take care